Hello kittens! Silver here with Tordy the Tortoise Shell Kitten by Douglas Cuddle Toys and we have a package that arrived today and this is going to be a pretty exciting package because this is going to be the first set of 2023 Douglas plushies that I have ordered for myself. Super super excited about these guys. So we're going to have one dog and one cat today. I have seen the dog posted by a few of my friends on social media and I am so over the moon ecstatic to see him in person. He's gotten rave reviews. The other cat is one that I have not seen in person yet. So that one is going to be a real surprise. So I'm going to get this opened and show you the two new arrivals. Okay, we have the package open and I can already see a little brindle coat sticking out here. So this is going to be the kitten first. Um, so Douglas actually decided to, to make a new tortoise shell cat. I believe um, at the express suggestion of a friend of mine on Instagram, which was just amazing. Um, so this is going to be Margot. And I'm very curious to see how she'll compare to the original brindle cat here, Torty. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. Oh my goodness, here is Margot. Look at her. She's so, so different from Torty. Look at that. So this one you can see is an all over brindle coat. Torty has the sort of black strip of fabric here between um, her eyes and on her uh, on the tips of her paws. And she also has the white muzzle where this one is just brindle from top to bottom. Oh my goodness, super, super soft. That's the first thing that, that jumps out right away. Very, very floppy, it seems. So, yep, there's the flop test. <laughs> She's super adorable. And she has a set of round gold eyes. I did consider um, doing an eye change on this one, just knowing that she was going to be a round-eyed cat. And I feel like I'm probably going to end up going that route to make her look even more feline. But she's really, really nice. She's a little bit bigger than the original Torty, as you can see. Very close, though. Just a little bit taller, so probably about 12 inches high or so. Um, she's kind of in a sitting position, it looks like, but she's definitely floppy enough to sprawl out as well. So that is Margot. And next up we have Everest, the white retriever. So let me see if I can get him out. I think there's a receipt in here. I'll just get rid of that. So let me just see if I can shimmy him out. Actually, I'm going to just pause for a second because he's a little bit stuck. One second. Okay, here we go. So already the coat is just absolutely knocking my socks off. <laughs> he's actually more of a light cream color, more so than a, a pure white. Um, oh my gosh, he is so, so soft. Okay, I'm really excited to see this one's face. He's, he's probably got a little bit of bag fur going on. So here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that adorable little puppy face. Oh my gosh, he is so, so precious. The The stock photos, I feel, just don't do him justice. Look at the fluff on his head. Oh my gosh, and he has the little lip flute detail. I love that detail on Douglas Plush. They seem to be doing that with their dogs more often than not, which I think is a step in the right direction. The fur is kind of covering his eyes a little bit, but... As you probably know by now, Douglas dogs almost universally have those amber brown round eyes that are so soulful and expressive. And he's got the nice little pleather or faux vinyl nose, or vinyl or faux leather, I should say. Um, but he's really, really floppy and squishy. Oh my gosh, he's just like the perfect level of floppiness. He lays, he can sit. Let's see, he's got some nice beans in his paws for a little bit of weight. I don't think he actually has beans. Oh yeah, maybe he has a little bit, a little bit of beans in the backside. So let me take a look at both of their tags because I forgot to check out Margot's tag. So here's Margot. And let's take a look at her hang tag here. So there you go, Margot Torty Cat. And then we have Everest here. So here is Everest's tag, White Retriever. So definitely very pleased with my first two arrivals from uh, from the Douglas headquarters. Uh, there is a very strong possibility that more will be joining my collection in the weeks ahead. So <laughs> look out for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back again soon with some more plush goodness for you. Bye, everybody.